Hey, I'm Sean Martin, president and founder of Donick Snowboards. I am at Copper Mountain with Donick team rider Lexi Bullis. She's going to give us a uh, hard boot carving and racing uh, tip on what you can do to, um, to excel as a racer or as a carver. So this drill, this technique is very important, especially for racers when you're in the course. And it's something that I still work on every day when I'm trying to ride in a course. And what it is really focusing on is your upper body position in reference to either your heel side or your toe side turns. So for your toe side turns, you wanna make sure you're taking your outside hand and reaching towards your front boot, making sure you're pinching your side and lengthening the other side to make sure you're creating separation as you're reaching. Make sure you're not reaching forward, but make sure you're keeping your chest up and reaching for that front foot to help you create the separation in your hip. Now for your heel sides, you wanna make sure that you are not reaching for your front foot, bringing your body forward. You wanna make sure you're reaching back towards your back foot, keeping your upper body up as you're reaching towards your back foot, again, pinching, the inside creating that separation and extending the other side still keeping your upper body up okay great it's this is a, a drill i covered in another uh another video earlier but lexi has given a much much better description of it than i did um so uh this is going to be great so for this drill we're going to focus on reaching for our heel side edge our front boot on our toe sides and on our heel sides, we're gonna be reaching for that back boot. Now what you wanna make sure is on your toe sides with your body, the same position and the same angle that your feet are, when you reach, you wanna reach down, but keep your chest up and you wanna feel your side pinch here and extend here. As you're reaching, this will help you create angulation in the board and it also helps you keep your body over your board so you don't slide out. This is important in a course when you're trying to get power and speed out of your turns. So that's toe sides. You reach, upper body up, pinch here, extend here. It's gonna look like this. Keeping that up, up, that inside arm up will also help you create that angulation. As you're reaching for your heel here and keeping your upper body, your inside arm up, this doesn't allow you to reach for the snow. If you reach down for the snow, your shoulders dip down and you lose all of your weight over your board. That is bad, don't do it. <laughs> Keep that inside arm up, reach that outside arm towards your front boot, keeping your chest up, feeling the pinch here, feeling the extension here. This is for your toe side turns. Now for your heel side turns for this drill. Again, instead of reaching for that front boot, reaching for that front boot will cause you to come over the front of your board. You wanna make sure that you are staying over the center of your board, reaching back over that back foot, keeping your upper body up, feeling pinch where you're reaching down and feeling the extension on the inside of the turn. Keeping that arm up and not reaching down towards the snow too will also help you to create this angulation. Again, feeling that pinch in your side and reaching out towards that back boot will help you make cleaned heel side turns and have a consistent carve because your weight is over the board and not over the snow. So I'm gonna demonstrate. You're gonna go back and forth from heel side to toe side and this is just a good drill to warm up on to then take into a course as well.